All right, for most of you, if you've already made it this far and you've signed up for the course and you're ready to go, you've probably already downloaded Photoshop or already have some version of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign on your computer. But for those of you who don't and are curious how to get it, here's what you need to do. First and foremost, you could come right to this link, adobe.com forward slash downloads.html, and you could start a free trial on any software that Adobe makes, specifically for this course, Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And with that, you'll get 30 days from the moment you open the program and start it. So you could download the software you need, and then as you take the courses and get into the different sections that maybe talk about Photoshop or Illustrator, once you start it, you have 30 days from then. And that might be a great approach if you're still not sure if this is quite right for you. The other thing you can do is start by jumping in and actually creating your own account and have a monthly subscription. So if you jump to adobe.com, come up here to the menu and click on how to buy, which will redirect you to this page here. And most likely you're going to be an individual versus say a business or maybe a student and teacher. Even though technically you're a student in this class, you need to be part of an accredited college or university to get the student discount. So that being said, you could just take maybe the $10 a month plan and get Photoshop, which will probably honestly get you a majority of the tools you need to follow along in this course. It would be nice to have if you do use Illustrator and InDesign, but just to get your feet wet and see if this is a good fit, that would be a great thing to start with. You could also do the single app, which would then give you the extra space for cloud storage, which is helpful for some of the lessons we're going to learn about, as well as access to premium fonts, which is also helpful for some of the things we're going to be learning about. I personally have this $80 a month plan because I also subscribe to Adobe Stock where I can download stock images and license them directly within any of the Creative Cloud apps and it's an amazing feature. We'll talk more about it as we get going. So what you need to do now is figure out whether you want to do a free download or if you're ready to dive in with some sort of plan or subscription. If you want to do a no contract monthly plan, it does cost a little bit more per month, $75 a month, but you have access to absolutely everything. Uh, or you could also do the annual pan plan paid monthly, which makes it a little cheaper. But do be aware that there is a subscription cost. And after 14 days, if you do not decide to get a refund and you say go into the 15th day, they will actually charge you for 50% of your remaining contract if you decide to cancel. So just be sure you want to download it and do that. And then to get started, all you need to do is select your plan and then create. Uh, click on the Buy Now button and then you'll create your own Adobe uh, ID and you'll be off and running and able to download the software. So go ahead and get that set up, get ready, and I will see you on the other side.